M0FXB. I'm still getting lots of people ask me how to buy the ICOM 52 from Japan. So I'm just going to show you. Now, my advice is do not get it from Japan. Get it from your country. Get it from a local dealer, ham radio seller who's going to provide warranty and service. So I would say do not use this method. But so many people are asking me. I'm going to show you how I did it. I did it so I could make lots of videos uh, to demonstrate the radio. And I've really enjoyed that. And there's nothing wrong with the radio. The radio does convert to English language and English sound. But yeah, the, the manual you get is in Japanese. Uh, so, just go to Japan Auctioneer. So you want to go to Baiyi here. I'll put the link in. Um, then you want to obviously create an account. And when you create that account, you create another uh, section where you uh, register your paying details. It could be a credit card. But I recommend if you're going to do this, do your PayPal. You get some protection there. Obviously, warranty-wise, you have to send it back to Japan. They will warranty it, but it's got to go back to Japan. And and it's a bit messy going via Baiyi because they're not really interested. And it's quite hard to speak to a shop when they're, it's a Japan shop. So that's why I, I say this isn't the preferred way. So anyway, so if you want the ICOM ID52, go to Yahoo Japan here on the left and put in ICOM ID-52 and click Advanced Search. And uh, no, that's the wrong. Let's go back one. Sorry, I was meant to click here, so we'll do it again. Icom ID 52. There you go. Now click search. And then the one I use was called Powernet. The price has stayed the same. It's £418.92p. Um, <coughs> so. If you have your PayPal accounts registered, this will, you know, this will literally just, um, <coughs> sorry, this will take the payment. Uh, and then you're going to get charged uh, about 60 to 70 pounds to ship it to the UK. If I select that, like so. See, it says here, it says win now, buy it now price. So you click that, and if you're registered PayPal, it'll just pay. And then it'll put it in your, once you've done that, it'll put it in your section where you, so you go to auctions. So let's go back to my, click my page. You can select English up here. Click my page. And what it'll do, you'll go to auctions here at the top. And then it'll be in the one section. Once it's in the one section, you're going to see this shipping sort of stuff where it's shipping it from the shop to the Baiyi warehouse still in Japan. Yeah, Baiyi warehouse, Japan. A couple of days later, it will say we're, it's in the warehouse. Now choose your how you want it posted to you. So then you go to here on the left, we go to package information. And it, it, mine's blank because um, there's nothing in storage. Yeah, that's it does have all your full, this is all the delivered items here. It always shows all of that, and they do they do have a returns type sort of system. Anyway, in storage, I say, I would just say you choose UPS, choose the good one, you know, insured, package check, and um, and then that's it. So you may get a message that says you might get a message that says we can't ship it with the battery, and it, or or a message that will say we can ship it, but we're gonna put we're gonna fit the battery into the radio. You know, so, um, so you know, you can say to them, okay, do what you want to do or don't ship with the battery. I mean, obviously, there's a cost to that because that's going to reduce, you're going to have to buy a battery. So these are, again, all reasons why I don't recommend you use this system, but I did. It worked for me. And um, uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll put the links in. 7-3, all the best. <laughs>